From Next Tier Stadium at Seneca Valley High School in Harmony, Pennsylvania, tonight the Penn Hills Indians will take on the Seneca Valley Raiders in a very important contest in determining playoff spots in WPIAL 6A action. A very pleasant good evening to you. I'm Bill Navari. Teams out on the field for the coin toss. The Indians dressed all white with the gold helmets, Seneca Valley. And the black with the teal numbers with white trim and the black helmets. Seneca Valley changed their helmet style. They have this SV on the side of this helmet. They used to have the, the war bonnet going across. Rained earlier. Rain is expected to have been moved out, but it is windy. Flag off to our left, a large flag off to our left in front of the scoreboard is blowing in the wind. Ramifications for tonight's game. The Indians win this game. For all intents and purposes, they will be in the playoffs. They will clinch a playoff spot. <coughs> and then we'll be playing the rest of the season for positioning against uh, North Allegheny and Central Catholic. Indians come in tonight's contest with a record of 3-2. and two. Seneca Valley with a record of 2-2. Two and two. Seneca Valley will get the ball first to start things off tonight. The Indians have Jonathan Barbarino out there to kick off. Barbarino came in last week. To replace the Eric Antonucci. Kick off inside the five, picked up and bobbled. And Seneca Valley will return it across the 15, out to about the 16-yard line. And Seneca Valley already starting in the hole. Seneca Valley led by their quarterback, Jack Cook, the six-foot senior. And Seneca Valley will come out running the football. The Indians stuff it. Nothing doing there, maybe a loss of a yard. Hank Royal will lose one. Twins to Cook's left. And they'll keep it on the ground up the middle. Royal once again gets across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Brought down on the play by Garrison Kemp and Rick Squires. We'll pick up six, and it'll be a third down and five for Seneca Valley. Twins each way. Single setback. And the pass will be caught and complete and breaking a couple of tackles. It'll be a first down out across the 40 to the 45-yard line is Jacob Hall. <laughs> 23-yard pickup on the play. He was hit by three Indians as soon as he caught the football. But was able to stay on his feet and pick up the yards after catch and gives Seneca Valley a first down out at their own 45-yard line. Big turn of, of uh, events there. Seneca Valley would have been forced to punt, but they get a fresh set of downs. Royal again up the middle, drag down. Damian Brady on the tackle for the Indians. Gain of maybe two, it'll be second down and eight. Indians will be home next week to host the North Allegheny Tigers. What a gain of one. It'll be second down and nine.
Pass complete on the near side for a first down. It's Peyton Scalos. Ramir Williams with the tackle. Eleven yards on the pickup. And another first down. Cook gets a snap and doesn't move his feet. He just throws right off the snap. Quick timing play. Royal looks for Lane. The Indians will close quickly. That'll be no gain. Maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage. And it'll be looking at a second down for the Raiders. Raiders victories this year against Peters Township and Butler. They've lost to Central Catholic and Pine Richland. Seneca Valley, no hurry. Cook with Royal to his right. Now we'll take a three-step drop. Looking downfield, throws over, who has a man pass complete to the 26-yard line. That's Scalos again for 17. Scalos found a seam, there was nobody around him. And Cook did a nice job of getting the ball in there. And now Seneca Valley will go with the no huddle. Jake Stebbins comes in, he tight end to the right. And it'll be Royal. He goes that way behind the block of Stebbins and gets submarined and brought down by Holloway, Daryl Holloway, down at the 15-yard line after a pickup of 11. Another first down for the Raiders. Royal again in the eye. And he'll be stacked up for a loss of one. Host of Indians on the tackle. Clock running under eight minutes to go here in the opening quarter. We are scoreless. Penn Hill, Seneca Valley. Big Northern Seven Conference matchup here. Later in the season we get, the more important they become. Cook flushed out of the pocket, takes it himself. We'll run inside the 10, inside the 5, brought down at the 4-yard line. Daquan Hardy with the tackle. It'll be first and goal Raiders. Royal hitting the backfield, brought down for a loss of one. John running in there, crashing the play was Damian Brady. In fact, nobody blocked Brady. He was in the backfield as, uh, as Royal was getting the handoff and brought him down for the loss of one. Cook keeps it himself. I'm not sure if it was a broken play or design play. Brought down by Squires at the two yard line after a pickup of three. And it'll be a third and goal from the two yard line. Drive began back at their own 17 yard line. This will be the 13th play of the drive. So far nine run, three pass. Cook keeps it himself, gets submarine, brought down. Nice tackle by Daryl Mason for no gain at the two. It'll be fourth and goal. Raiders.
Fourth and goal, Raiders at the two-yard line. Power eye formation behind Cook. Cook's going to sprint roll out, looking for somewhere to go in the end zone. Flushed out of the pocket. Looks, comes back this way. Has some blockers in front. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. <laughs> Indians had him. Let him get away. And the Raiders get on the board first. Fourteen plays, 83 yards. Touchdown coming with 5-10 to go here in the opening quarter. Kick goes wide to the left. Holder bobbled the snap. And the score remains. Seneca Valley six, Penn Hills nothing. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Seneca Valley kicking off. The Indians will get their hands on the football for the first time tonight. Kickoff taken at the 15 yard line. And Cameron Jeffries will get it out across the 20 to the 22. So the Indians offense is getting the ball for the first time and trailing by a score of six nothing. Camp Taron in the shotgun. Tank Smith to the near side. Tim Smith back in action. We'll take the swing pass off to the left across the 30. And Smith will get out to the 32-yard line. Picks up five. Great to see Timmy Smith back in action. So they pick up five. And it'll be second down and five. Hamilton in motion this way, takes the uh, handoff on the jet. Looks for somewhere to go. Seneca Valley's there. Man will be held for no gain. Not sure why Hamilton just didn't keep coming this way on the sweep. Tried to cut back and went back into the heart of the Seneca Valley defense. And gets held for no gain. Trips to Terrence left. Julian Major, the lone receiver this way. Tarrant looks left. Looking downfield, under pressure, and he'll be sacked. At the 28-yard line. And it'll bring up a punting situation for the Indians. Tarrant was looking left the whole way and didn't see the pocket collapsing on him. So Noah Dipka will be back to punt for the Indians. Jake Bonofsky back for the Raiders. Low snap. Dipka gets a booming kick away. Bonofsky back inside his 25, loses the football, picks it up at the 14 yard line, looks for somewhere to go. It's a sea of white. And he gets submarined at the 15-yard line. Keep on Paschel with the tackle. And Seneca Valley starting in familiar territory. They'll start at their own 15. Their last drive started at their own 17. They turned that into a touchdown. So we'll see what adjustments the Indians defense made. 
after giving up the 14-play, 83-yard drive on Seneca Valley's opening possession. Cook in the shotgun with Royal to his left. Has twins to the near side, twins to the other way. No, move up, Raymond. Move up. Royal goes right side. Gets maybe a yard, dragged down by Andy Plowden. He will get a yard. It'll be second down and nine for the Raiders. Under two and a half to go here in a quick moving first period. Uncharacteristic of this season. Cook, straight drop. Under pressure, inside the five, gets away from one man, throws the pass up, and the pass is caught. Ray Mir Williams with the tackle at the 35-yard line. There's Jacob Hall. The Indians were not unable to bring Cook down on the sack in the backfield. Well, we'll tack another 15 on for roughing the passer against the Indians. It's another first down for Seneca Valley. Moves the ball out to the 50-yard line. And Seneca Valley gives five right back. So why is he inside? So the first two penalties of the night come consecutively. Royal. Indians have been stingy with the room to run. Squires and Plowden on the tackle will pick up three. It'll be second down and 12 for the Raiders. Cook, quarterback draw, and he'll be submarines for a loss inside at the 45-yard uh, line. Donovan Baines with a nice play to come up and make the tackle. Let's go, uh, Spartan White Zero. That'll be third and 15 for the Raiders. Hook will roll this way. Throwing downfield, has a man, and the pass is high and broken up. Play, nice defensive play by Tyler Blue. Play, Blue. Pass was intended for Peyton Scalos. Excuse me, it was uh, Jake Bonofsky. And the pass broken up, fourth and 15 for the Raiders. They'll punt now for the first time. The clock stopped at 12 seconds to go here in the first half. Excuse me, the first quarter. Hey, tell him I have that, or does he want me to put it in now? Spartan, Spartan, Spartan. So tell Cam to get back. Just tell Cam to get back. Seneca Valley get back. Get with back. the pooch kick. Cook's kick high, short, out of bounds. Indians will get it with six seconds to go in the first quarter. The ball at the. We're going to mark it at the 30. That's where the ball hit out of bounds. It had a carry out of bounds before that, but that's where they'll mark them. We'll just keep it here for the final play of the first quarter. Coach Dave, tell Graham to 
Tarrant looking this way, down in field, has a man in the pass just too far for Tank. Pass falls incomplete, and that'll do it for the first quarter. After one, Raiders nothing, Indi or Raiders six, Indians nothing. You're watching the Pendles Indians Football Network. The Tribe, not in great numbers, but they're here and they're vocal. Throwing themselves on the far side of the field as the second quarter is about to get underway. The Indians trail by six. Indians with a second down and 10 at their own 30 yard line, moving right to left. Hamilton comes in motion, they fake the jet. Tarrant, option right, pitches it. Tim Smith, across the 30, out of bounds, about the 35 yard line. Let's see where they mark him, they will mark him right at the 35. Smith picks up five, and the Indians will have a third and five. Tarrant over the middle. Smith again will have a first down for the Indians out to the 44-yard line. Picks up nine. <coughs> Indians move the sticks for the first time here in this contest. Coming with 11.47 to go in the first half. Trips to the right, twins left, empty set for Tarrant. High snap, keeps it himself, away he goes. Tarrant, across the 50, gets a block inside the 40-yard line, up the sideline. Tarrant goes down inside the 35 at the 34-yard line. 22 yards for Cam. Ah, but it looks like it's coming back with a flag at the 48-yard line. They're calling a penalty on that block. Oh, well, it's going to be one of those nights for the Indians, it appears. Well, in essence, it's a loss of three on the penalty. It'll make it first and 13. Let's see if they run the same play. Tank comes in motion this way. Gets set, Tarrant looking, looking, flushed. Can't get rid of it, he's brought down at the 35 yard line. Loss of six, it'll be second down 19. Empty set for Tarrant. Keeps it himself, has a hole up the middle. Nice play getting a paw in and, and getting uh, Tarrant down with Seth Markle. After a pickup of four. But it'll be third down and long for the Indians. Be third and 15. Tarrant steps up into Proc and is brought down again. Jacob Hall with the sack. Dipko will come on to punt. Panofsky back for the Raiders. Dipko, line drive, hits at the 30-yard line, takes an Indian row inside the 20, inside the 16 to the 15-yard line. 9.24 to go, first half, Seneca Valley 6, Penn Hills nothing. 
You're watching the Penn Hills Indians Football Network. Seneca Valley quickly to the line. Cook tries to set up the screen underneath the Royal. Across the 20, the 25, the 30. Has some blockers, cuts it back across the 40. And down to the 50 yard line. That's a 35 yard pickup for the Raiders. It's 36 as he goes down at the Indian 49. First down, they set this screen up nicely. Royal again with a big hole across the 45 down to the 42 yard line for a pickup of seven. Hank Royal, the workhorse here of this offense. 6'2", 215 pound senior. Coke throws near side, has a man, pass complete, first down at the 36 yard line. Pickup of six to Peyton Scalos, first down. Darrell Holloway on the tackle for the Indians. Cook keeps it himself. Holloway, submarine, but Cook's able to dive ahead for an extra two down to the 31 yard line for a pickup of five. to throw again, pass. What is Was intended for Jacob Hall. Cook led him a little too far. Maybe a third and five for the Raiders. At their own 31 yard, actually at the Indian 31 yard line. Cook, shuffle pass up the middle. Royal inside the 20. We have a first down. Shoot, inside the 25 at the 24 yard line. Cook, a oh, middle pass too high intended for Hall. Sprint draw handoff. Royal will lose a yard. Mason with the tackle for the Indians. Maybe third and 11. Go 
Clock running under six and a half to go here in the first half. Seneca Valley six, Penn Hills nothing. Touchdown coming on the opening drive of the game. Seneca Valley went 83 yards in 14 plays. Scored on a fourth and goal from the two. Jake Cook, quarterback with a scramble. Just got into the end zone. Cook again, sets up this way, tries to set up the screen, and Raymir Williams with a tackle at the 21-yard line. Brings down Luke Smith. After a pickup of four. And it'll be fourth down and about eight. We'll call it seven. Seneca Valley is going to set up for a field goal. It'll be a 38-yard attempt if they do indeed attempt it. Kick is up. And the kick is good. 5.25 to go first half. Seneca Valley 9, Penn Hill 6. You're watching the Penn Hills Indians Football Network. There's going to be Penn Hill 0. Dylan Good nails the 38-yarder. Seneca Valley up 9-0. Kickoff, short, near side. Hits at the 20-yard line. Picked up. Looking for some room to run. Getting to the outside is Azarius Britt. Trying to find a lane. Using his speed across the 30. Up the sideline at the 40-yard line. Finally put out of bounds close to midfield. And a late penalty flag comes in for a hit out of bounds on Britt. Goes out of bounds at the 50-yard line. But this is going to put the Indians down at the 35-yard line. Nice return by Britt, who picked up the ball on the bounce. Everything closed on the sideline this way, and he cut it back and used the speed to get himself another 30 yards. And then a penalty tacked on another 15. Indians with their deepest penetration at the 35-yard line. Tarrant throws, pass underneath Squires, looks for somewhere to go inside the... 35 to the 33. It's two yards on the reception for Squires. Hamilton underneath inside the 30 to the 29 yard line. I think that one was supposed to go to Julian Major, but Hamilton stepped in front, held onto it. Four yards, it'll be third and four for the Indians. Tarrant throws over the middle pass too far for Hamilton. Almost picked off by Seneca Valley, but the ball falls incomplete. It'll bring up a fourth and four. I'm sure the Indians will go for it here. The Indians need to get something going. They trail by nine. Terrence sets up the screen underneath. Timmy Smith inside the 25 to the 24-yard line. Needed four, got five. That's a first down, a rare first down for the Indians in this first half. Third first down of the game for the Indians. Actually fourth, we'll call the uh, first down on the penalty that started this drive. Actually, looking at it, it is the third first down for the Indians. Terrence pass to Julian Major to the 21-yard line. Picks up a couple. Indians chipping away. 
Taron under pressure. Gets away. Cuts inside the 20. Looking for some blocks inside the 15. Wrestled down at the 11-yard line. 10 yards for Cam Tarrant. And first down for the Indians. Indians can't get a first down. I'm sure they'd rather get it the 11 than the 10. Tarrant rules this way. Looking, looking, cuts it up. And they're going to roll him out of bounds. I don't know, I understand why Tarrant didn't decide to take it up and run. Darryl Holloway unable to hold in at the goal line. Clock will stop. 3.02 left to go here, first half. I thought Tarrant was going to take off with that one. He's pretty close to the line of scrimmage, but now it'll be a third down. It should be second down and 10 for the Indians. Twins right, twins left. Underneath is Squires at the nine yard line for two. And it'll be third down and eight. And the Indians will talk this play over. 2.42 to go, first half. Seneca Valley 9, Penn Hills nothing. You are watching the Indians Football Network. Following the timeout, the Indians come to the line with a third down and eight from the nine yard line. Tarrant looking, looking, takes off himself, throws into the back of the end zone, and a pass unable to be held onto by Smith. The Indians will send on the field goal unit. Jonathan Barbarino will set up for a 26-yard attempt. I mean, that's Antonucci. Back out for the Indians. High snap. Kick is up. It's long enough. And it hits the right upright. So Seneca Valley will take over with 2.30 to go in the half at their own 20-yard line. Score remains Seneca Valley 9, Penn Hills nothing. Seneca Valley, all three timeouts left. Left side, tries to find some blockers, brought down from behind. It's Daryl Mason after a pickup of one. Indians do get the ball to start half number two. Second down and eight, Raiders. Ball at their own 22-yard line. Royal again. Same way. Into the pile. Out to the 25. Picks up three. It'll be third and five. And the Indians will use his timeout. 1.32 to go, first half. Raiders 9, Indians nothing. You are watching the Penn Hills Football Network.
Following a timeout, Seneca Valley with a third and five. And the Indians jump off sides and give them the first down. Coke rolling this way, looking for a man downfield under pressure, throws the ball out of bounds. Under pressure from Damian Brady and Donovan Baines. It'll be second down at 10. Clock stops with 1.31 to go here in half number one. Raiders up by nine. Trying to add some more before the half. The Indians get the ball to start half number two. Royal with a big hole, has a first down. Squires with, does not bring him down on the initial hit. Royal inside the 20, inside the 15, first down. Seneca Valley at the 12 yard line. 58 yards. And a first down for Seneca Valley. Lay on the draw. Indians missed the tackle. Would you tell them to get a quarter? Sport, output, shoot. And Kemp will make the tackle for a loss of one. Cook, straight drop, launches one towards the end zone in the back corner. Too far for Peyton Scalos. And it brings up a third down and 11. Clock stops with 38 seconds to go. Seneca Valley, two timeouts left. Swing pass, left side. And he's missed the initial tackle, and then they'll keep him for no gain. Daryl Mason. That brings up a fourth. In fact, they'll lose one on the play. Fourth down for the Raiders. Call timeout with one second to go here in the half. They had a little bit of confusion going on out there. I think they were going to go for a field goal, but they didn't have the right personnel. And they'll call a timeout and figure it all out. I guess they will go for the field goal, but after the timeout. One second to go in the half. Seneca Valley 9, Pennell's nothing. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Seneca Valley sets up for a 31-yard field goal here on the last play of half number one. Kick is up. And it is good. That'll do it for the half. The score, Seneca Valley 12, Penn Hills nothing. You're watching the Penn Hills Indians Football Network. Second half action about to get underway here at Seneca Valley High School with the score, Seneca Valley 12, Penn Hills nothing. 
Not a stellar first half for the Indians. Four first downs to the uh, Raiders, 10. Indians, 11 yards rushing, 30 yards passing. Federal net yards, 41 for the Indians, 232 for the Raiders. Obviously, the Indians need to try to get something going here in half number two. The kickoff goes into the end zone for an automatic touchback. The Indians will start at their own 20-yard line. The Indians move Rick Squires into the slot. Tank comes this way. No, it's Tarrant with the keeper. Looks for some room to run. Gets across the 30 out to the 31-yard line for a pickup of 11. And a first down. Squires moves the slot to the right. This time Tank does get a Tank with a hole up the middle. Tank's off to the races across the 50. Inside the 40-yard line with some blockers. Tank inside the 35, the 30. Nice run, Tank Smith inside the 25. Inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. 51 yards for the Tank. Indians just got more yards on that run than they did in the entire first half. <laughs> Tank again. It's maybe a yard. Two maybe. We'll give them two yards. Tarrant throws over the middle. There's nobody there. It'll bring up a third down at <clears throat> about nine. Julian Major splits off to the right. Trips this way. Cam will roll this way, looking towards the end zone to Squires. Passes up and batted down. Pass incomplete. So the Squires, that was Cam Jeffries. And it'll bring up a fourth down at the 18 yard line. <coughs> Indians are going to keep the offense on the field. Tarrant steps into the pocket, gets up, stays on his feet, tries to get outside the 20-yard line, inside the 16 down to the 15-yard line. Picks up three. He'll be well short of the first down. And Seneca Valley will start at a familiar place, their own 15-yard line, with 10.33 to go here in the third quarter. Indian quickly got down inside the Seneca Valley red zone. But then stalled out with uh, two incomplete passes and two short runs.
Coker will keep it himself. Noah Dipko on the tackle. At the 17 yard line, picks up two. Early third quarter, but Seneca Valley already looks like they're playing kill the clock. <coughs> Royal, close to a first down, be a yard is short. Seneca Valley loses the football. And it looks like they fell on it back at their own 17 yard line. They'll lose seven and there's an injured Indian on the field. 8.49 to go, third quarter. Seneca Valley 12, Penn Hills nothing. You're watching the Penn Hills Indians Football Network. Fourth down and eight for the Raiders following the injury timeout. The Indians Andy Plowden. And Seneca Valley a punt for only the second time tonight. Jeffries gets it at the 44-yard line, looks for somewhere to go, and he goes backwards. He'll lose two on the return. So the Indian offense now will start at their own 42-yard line, still trailing by 12, had a great opportunity on their opening possession of this half. But turn the ball over on downs at the 15. Tim Smith to Terrence left. Squires in the slot, and it'll be Smith. Smacked in the backfield, nobody blocked. Gabe Miller. Smith will lose three, and it'll be second down and 13. Miller was there to say, go ahead, take the handoff, and then smack Smith down for the loss. Tim Smith on the counter, picks up the yardage back. It'll be third down and 10. Tarrant with a straight drop, looks flushed. Under pressure and he's sacked. He'll lose five yards back to the 37 yard line. And Indians will go three and out. Dipko to punt for the first time here in the half on a fourth and 14. Seneca Valley blocks it. Still rolling inside the five yard line. And it'll go dead at the, the mark him at the five. Let's go, 
Seneca Valley came a coming on that one. The high snap gave Seneca Valley an extra uh, half second to get in and get a paw out. Royal made it look easy. Touchdown coming with 6.21 to go. Here in half number two, and the kick is no good. Score remains Seneca Valley 18, Penn Hills nothing. You are watching the Indians Football Network. Scoring drive for Seneca Valley, one play, five yards, six seconds. Tick, take it back at the one yard line. Squires looks for somewhere to go, breaks one tackle, breaks another, gets back to the 17. Indians now with a larger hill to climb. Terrence swing pass right side. Now a duck is put up towards Squires and he loses the football. They tried the option pass to Davon Stevens, a little flea flicker. The pass was ugly, but it came down to Squire's hands and he just dropped it. It's kind of night it's been for the Indians. Aaron pass underneath, Jeremy Hamilton. Breaks the tackle to 25 at the 30. Breaks another one at the 35, the 40. Hamilton, it's a foot race across the 50, and he'll go down at the 49-yard line. 33 yards to Hamilton. Seneca Valley Fortune is then get called for a horse collar tackle to add 15 onto it. Tank. Down to the 46 yard line, picks up three. And he's trying to set up the screen. Tank in front of a bunch of black jerseys. We'll lose four. Not a stellar night tonight for the Indians offensive line. Terrence, Brent roll out to his right. 
Looking, launches one, downfield. Julian Major has it batted away. Nice play by Walik Shabazz. <clears throat> now it'll be fourth down at the 50-yard line for the Indians. Zipko will come on to punt again, and his last one blocked. Yeah. Indians take a delay. And why is the clock running? Dipko gets this one away. Nobody back for Seneca Valley. We'll take an Indian roll inside the 15 and go dead at the 14-yard line. 3.56 to go, third quarter, Seneca Valley 18, Penn Hills nothing. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Seneca Valley with the first down at their own 14-yard line. They've been pretty much their starting position all night. Rowe gets back to the line of scrimmage. I think at this point here now, Seneca Valley is just going to start trying to chew clock as best they can. Duffel pass inside to Royal. And somehow manages to get across the 20, out close to the first down marker. He'll get nine. This is just one of the nights where the Indians aren't blocking and the Indians aren't tackling. Royal dives out to the 26-yard line. We'll get the first down. Interesting field here at Seneca Valley. They got the blue and white stripes at the 25. Ordinarily, that's done at the 20. Kind of throws you off now and again. With the distinctive blue track here at Next Tier Stadium. Royal for one. Daryl Mason with the tackle for the Indians, and the clock continues to run. It's a game here. If the Indians lose, they will have a very difficult time of making the playoffs. <coughs> because they will have to beat North Allegheny and or Central Catholic to get in. Pass complete. Ramir Williams with the tackle of Peyton Scalos. Third and four for the Raiders. Again, they're using up most of the play clock to just try to uh, chew time away from the Indians.
Cook keeps it himself. We'll have the first down and more across the 40. Hit from behind. Brought down by Tank Smith after he crosses the 50 to the 49-yard line. 20 yards on the quarterback keeper. Falker only really not under a minute to go here in the third. <clears throat> Royal rumbles for about eight. Ramir Williams and Tyler Blue on the tackle. And Seneca Valley doesn't need to run a play. They're actually going to come to the sideline and let the clock expire. After three, Seneca Valley 18, Penn Hills nothing. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Cook with the keeper as quarter number four starts. And he gets himself a first down, scrambling for about 13 yards. Ramir Williams. Williams with another tackle for the Indians. Cook, high snap, keeps it himself. Gets through the line, gets into the end zone, touchdown. Seneca Valley. 28 yard run for Jack Cook. His second touchdown of the game. That's not coming with 11.20 to go here in quarter number four. Kick is up and good. 11.20 to go, fourth quarter, Seneca Valley 25, Penn Hills nothing. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Eighty-six yard touchdown drive for the Raiders. Serious Britt with a nice return out across the twenty-five to the twenty-seven yard line. Tank breaking some blocks across the 30, out across the 35 to the 36. Picks up nine. Jacob Hall will drop Tank Smith down at the 32-yard line, a loss of four. And there's an injured Indian on the field. It's Tank Smith. 
10.32 to go in the fourth, 25-0 Seneca Valley. You're watching the Penos Indians Football Network. Third and five for the Indians. Tarrant throws this side, and it's almost picked off. It was intended for Major. Pass was underthrown and almost picked off. I don't think Julian Major has a catch tonight. Before we got the snap off, Seneca, Penn Hills calls a timeout. 10.22 to go in the fourth. Seneca Valley 25, Penn Hills nothing. You're watching Indians Football Network. Fourth and five for the Indians. Thank Smith back in. And the Indians will indeed run the fake. And Seneca Valley was waiting for it. Actually lose seven yards. Cook keeps it himself, wrapped up at the 25. Dipko on the tackle, along with Daryl Mason. Mason and Dipko again on the tackle. Royal down to the 23 yard line. Central Catholic and Pine Richland tied at 21 in the third quarter. Whoa, that's all Seneca Valley is going to get tagged with a penalty. False start. Well, it costs Seneca Valley five yards, but stops the clock. Now it's begun running again. Tell, tell Bloom to get over top. You get that. Cook with the shuffle pass inside to Royal. Noah Dipka with the tackle at the 22-yard line. Pick up a five.
Corio on the swing pass this way inside the 20, inside the 15, inside the five. Indians watch him go into the end zone. Touchdown coming with 7.36 to go here in quarter number four. Kick is up and good. 7.36 to go, fourth quarter. Seneca Valley 32, Penn Hills nothing. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Britton Hardy back for the Indians. Flag on a play. I think perhaps the Raiders jumped off sides. Tee it up and do it again. Brett looks for somewhere to go and has nowhere to go. It goes down to 25. That's where the Indians start. 7.28 to go in the fourth. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Nothing doing there for Tarrant as, as Tarrant as he had nowhere to throw. Aaron's pass too high for Britt. Calls incomplete. Tarrant brought down for loss of two at the 23-yard line. Dipko booms one. Oh, it takes a Seneca Valley bounce. It goes dead at the 38-yard line. 5.56 to go in this one. The Seneca Valley Raiders are in control, 32-0. You're watching the Pennells Indians Football Network. High snap. Inside the 20-yard line, new quarterback for Seneca Valley is Gabe Lawson. 
We brought down back at the 15 yard line for loss of 23. Seneca Valley getting some clean jerseys in. Noah Mancuso. We drop back at the seven yard line for loss of eight. It's gonna be third and 41. I think it's the closest the Indians have been to the goal line tonight. Seneca Valley keeps it himself. He's sacked back at the goal line. That's Seneca Valley will punt from its own end zone. See if they kick it away or just take intentional safety. Actually, Seneca Valley could take a delay of game penalty here and not lose any yardage. Oh, they do kick it away. And we'll go out of bounds at the 16-yard line. The Indians have a chance. 3.34 to go here, fourth quarter. They got the ball at the 16-yard line. But they trail by 32. You're watching the Indians Football Network. Tarrant flushed out of the pocket. Looks, throws underneath the pass complete. Hamilton inside the 10. Uh, I can mark him at the 10. Tarrant rolls to his left, looks into the end zone, pass complete. Rick Squires touchdown, Penn Hills. Touchdown coming with 2.55 to go here in the fourth quarter. And Tanucci to try the point after. Another false start for the Indians. Type of night they've had because they can't even get a, an extra point correct here. So it's now become a 30-yard field goal. 
for Antonucci. High snap, Antonucci's kick is up. It's long enough and it's good. 2.55 to go, fourth quarter. Seneca Valley 32, Penn Hill 7. You're watching the Indians Football Network. And he can try the onside kick. Does not work. Seneca Valley will have it at their own 38 yard line. Ty Gross in a quarterback for Seneca Valley. Timeout. Seneca Valley will use a timeout. 2.55 to go in the fourth. 32 7, Seneca Valley. You're watching the Pendles Indians Football Network. Penos uses a timeout. 32 7, Seneca Valley. You're watching Indians Football Network. Second down and 10. Ball at the Raiders 38 yard line. On well, the second down and 10, Seneca Valley keeps it on the ground. Surprise, surprise. And they'll lose four yards. It'll be third and 14. Clock under two and a half to go here, fourth quarter. Indians will be home to take on North Allegheny next week. North Allegheny currently leads Mount Lebanon. Jake Vine, Weezer. Pick up about 10. And then another time out on the field. We'll be right back. Fourth and two here for Seneca Valley. And they'll kick it away. They need to get a piece of it. And they muff the punt. And it's recovered by Seneca Valley. So Seneca Valley gets it back with 139 to go. That's the Indian 32. Clock is running. Seneca Valley took the opening drive of this game. 83 yards and 14 plays. It's 
which kind of set the things in motion. The Indian offense has been able to do anything tonight. Seneca Valley with a couple of field goals and a bunch of missed extra points. But the Indians consistent tonight. No blocking, no tackling, and they're going to drop one here to the Seneca Valley Raiders by a score of 32-7, to seven, and the Indians need to beat North Allegheny and or Central Catholic to get into the playoffs now. And Central Catholic is... Uh, and the Cavalli's going to come to the sidelines and set up the reception line as the clock winds down. So the Indians will be home next week to take on North Allegheny in a must-win game for them to have any hope of making the playoffs. They need to obviously play a lot better than they did tonight. Get the offense back on track and just get everything back on track. Everything was off the, off the track tonight. But uh, the hope is the Indians still have some games left this season to try to uh, pull out some wins and get themselves into the playoffs. The final score from next tier stadium at Seneca Valley High School. The Seneca Valley Raiders beat your Penn Hills Indians by a score of 32-7. to I'm Bill Navari. Thank you for watching the Indians here on the Penn Hills Indians Football Network.